Oh my soccer universe first slightly different collection video uh, because this is a time where I take stock of the collection and look forward where I wanna add parts to the, to the collection if I even need to uh, and this follows on you know at the end of the year always look back what are the best additions and, and so on. now we need to kind of formalize where we wanna take our collection and I'm gonna do this in uh, two to three parts first of all I wanna talk about where my collection is at. Um, second part is where are my goals for this year, which I will do slightly systematically because other, uh, other, otherwise I'm losing track, but you will see it will go a little bit wild. And then in the last part, we also have to talk about the reality of things, which is probably the most important part uh, because where I am, that's cool. Uh, where I wanna be, this is always a lot of wishes, but then you have to also check with reality, how much can I do? So these are the three parts. And for me, uh, this is kind of my way of also saying, I've never made a video of saying, how do you start a collection? But where at least this collector's mind is going and uh, the steps that I'm taking to um, to actually grow the culture that the collection, but not going too wild. And maybe this will also help you with your collecting uh, to see how I go about things. You know, I'm not the, uh, the only one collecting out there, probably other collectors videos as well. But I always find this a very valuable exercise for me and I hope also for you. So let's first take stock of the collection. Where's my collection? Aid? Well, including this jersey that I unpacked yesterday, I have currently, and I'm almost ashamed to say 395 jerseys. I never thought I would have. I always thought that the upper limit is 365 all jersey per day. Yes, I have now a few museum jerseys, which means, yeah, we're still away from that, but I still wear regularly soccer jerseys and having a bunch of jerseys to choose from for my videos, where I always choose, uh, try to choose a different jersey for each video, uh, makes it fun to have uh, that selection. And then there are a few jerseys like this, this one that I wear on a more regular basis. Of these 395 jerseys, I have 148 national team jerseys, which I was surprised that it's that little uh, as opposed to 247 club jerseys, which is also makes a little bit sense because I've been growing the club collection because, you know, I collect now mostly for my channel because I want to put jerseys in the background. I want to have jerseys to wear in my videos when I talk about all kinds of different leagues and oh, the European comp, comp, comp competition. So there needed to be a little bit added more on this end. So it kind of makes sense to have it. Um, brand wise, it's also interesting to see. Uh, I give you the top brands that I have in my collection. Top spot, Adidas with 92. 92 Adidas jerseys, so roughly a quarter of my collection are these Adidas jerseys. And then Nike is a little bit behind in 84. Adidas though took a huge leap. It was always neck on neck over the few years, like at most one or two, but Adidas now have a little bit of an advantage, probably because Adidas uh, released some nicer jerseys uh, last time. Uh, big lift Puma. Puma is coming up big now, um, 66. And for Puma, I have 43 national team jerseys. Yes, Austrian national team, Italian national team, and the many African teams have Puma. That makes a big chunk, but I have more national team jerseys from Puma than I have club jerseys, 43 to 23. But with Milan being with Puma, I guess that will also live. So this is why Puma is growing. There's Milan and there, it, there's Italy, there's Austria, who are Puma teams, and there, there are the African teams that usually also push Puma. Behind that, we have 31 Umbro, 20 for Macron, 17 for Kappa. Kappa and Macron is heavily on the club side. I mean, I've only one country, I've one national team for Macron so far, Liechtenstein. And we have two for Kappa. And I'm trying to think there's one Italy jersey and there's one Burkina Faso jersey. So there you go with Kappa. And then uh, 15 self-produced ones where 13 Alaska jerseys also makes sense. And then we finally come to the most frequent teams. Who is top? Well, it can only be one of two, Milan or Lask. Lask or Milan. It is Milan, 25 for Milan, 22 for Lask. Uh, makes kind of sense because it was always easier to get Milan jerseys used than Lask jerseys. Uh, but they are neck on neck and I always say, 
I may have more Milan jerseys, but I have more fan stuff from Lusk, i.e. scarves and other things. Uh, then it's all national teams behind. I have 13 Italy jerseys. 13 Italy jerseys! Yes, crazy. 10 for Austria. So Italy is ahead of Austria, which is very much how I follow national teams. Um, nine for France and the Netherlands each. And yes, I like both national teams, but for France is especially, I love France jerseys. Especially since they uh, re recently with Nike, every time they release a home jersey, it is just the most beautiful jersey that I've ever seen. And yet this time around, it's the same thing. I already saw the new leaks and the new France jersey is probably just up there. Not sure if I should get it though. Uh, and for the Netherlands, yes, I'm, uh, I like the Dutch. I would like to have a white Netherlands jersey, to be honest. Um, either white and orange one from the 90s or one you know, with the flag sash from 2006. Um, and then just to round it out a little bit, uh, I have seven Barca jer jerseys. I have seven Argentina jerseys. Um, no need, to, not a real huge need to add a little bit there unless I see something else. Roma, I have six. I actually have also six, so uh, there you there you go, and then I have a bunch with five, four, and so on and so forth. So this is where the collection is at, and I have to say, I feel very happy with what I have. And going forward now, we're moving to the next one. Where do I want to take take the collection? Well, most of it is now my theme is patching up and reduction. Uh, not reducing the number of jerseys, but reduction in the rate of buying. <laughs> I don't need to add another plus 70 plus jerseys to, 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 to collection. I'm running out of space. I made a, a, a video out of it. I also find it becomes a little bit more ridiculous. Um, but let's see wh what are my collection targets. Uh, you saw my top 10 video, hopefully, of the best jerseys for this year and also my previous years. All of these jerseys are always targets. I would love to have this particular Leeds jersey. Um, that would, would be great because I think it's stunning. And you know, all of some of the other special national team jerseys and so on. We have to see where this will go. Uh, but those are always kind of targets, and I like to have beautiful jerseys. Um, the big thing is we have a European Championship coming up, and again, I want to have, like for the World Cup in the previous years, I want to have a jersey for every team. Now, I, you see here the current state of all the qualified teams, and we have not everything qualified. Albania, Slovenia, so green is what I have. Reddish is what I definitely want to have. Yellow is optional, and if there's a light green means, I could potentially improve on it. Uh, if we look now, Albania, Slovenia, and Turkey, they're also two big red ones that I have. Um, Albania, Slovenia home jerseys, I have already made the uh, necessary connections. I will have each one of these. For Albania, I'm very happy. For Slovenia, I'm happy, but I would have also liked, and that's why there's some yellow ones up there. Um, I would like to have one of the more recent ones, especially 2018 and 2020. Nike did something great. The current ones are SHIT. Uh, maybe they will get some something better for the Euros, but something there. I would like to have a red Turkey jersey. I just don't know which one yet, but I would like to have a nice red Turkey home jersey. Um, then the playoff winners, these are a little bit more tricky because we don't know yet who is there, but I can tell you to, to tell the state from playoff winner path A, it will be either Wales or Poland. I think I have a home jersey for each of these. I would like to have a better Poland home jersey. In probably the one from the last years I really liked, uh, or a red away jersey. If it was Poland for Wales, I would like to have an away jersey as well. For Finland, it's the other way around. I have a Finland away jersey. I would like to have one of the last two home jerseys with the uh, blue cross on there. Let's see if this will be Estonia. I don't think we'll make it, but Estonia would be really hard to get. Playoff path winner B. I look quite good. I have home jerseys for Bosnia, Ukraine and Iceland. Would be nice to have a Ukraine away jersey. Uh, Israel, I'm blank, but I actually think it will be among the ones that, that I have. So I think I should be fine. And maybe if there's a chance for the away jersey, it would be nice. Path C, I'm all for Greece. I have a Greece home, home jersey. And I would like to have a white Greece jersey, to be honest. Um, and, you know, Greece had some nice jer uh, jer jer jerseys. So let's see. Where this will go, uh, Georgia and Luxembourg would be doable, I think, although a little bit there. 
Kazakhstan uh, is the one I fear the most. So please, Greece, do me the favor and just get it done. Uh, although I honestly I wouldn't mind having Georgia or Luxembourg because they have interesting jerseys for sure. But you know we have we gotta see. I think Georgia, Kazakhstan, Georgia a little bit more than Kazakhstan, but this could be a bit of a challenge. And it's as soon as I, I probably need to uh, act quickly there. So that's national teams. We also have uh, three other national teams, tournaments, uh, the Copa America looking quite good. I'm already working on a Venezuela shirt. I missed out on Bolivia shirt really, really cheap that I'm a little bit, but you know, uh, Bolivia don't see, and see anything making. Maybe the biggest gap is Chile. And there's not all the three uh, South American national teams where I don't have a jersey. I would like to have a Colombia home jersey, but nothing really big. I don't see myself, same thing for the Asian Cup, although I've only for six teams. I don't foresee myself going crazy and buying any other jerseys there, although it would be nice to have an Australia away jersey. Uh, and for the FCON, I'm really well set. Yes, I would like to have a dark green uh, Senegal and a dark green Nigeria jersey. But I think I'm looking good. I'm a camera on the away jersey. But overall, I am very happy with my African collection. So this is where I'm at with those. So when it comes to adding club jerseys, uh, I need to look at the competitions that I'm covering on, on this channel first, first and foremost. But let's get the ones out of the way. I actually, I think I want to move my club collection now that I feel I'm very confident with all the teams that I'm having. And you will see, I'm largely happy. Uh, I want to add mostly patch, patch holes in my Lasca Milan collections. For Lask, for the current current season, I want to have two jerseys. I want to have, and potentially with name sets and two to be, I want to have the European home jersey because I think it looks really nice and much better than the one with the yellow sleeves that I have. And I would like to have the league away jersey in black because it also looks nice and is kind of modeled after a jersey that I bought, a retro jer uh, jersey um, that I now give to my wife. So I would like to have a modern version of that one as well. So this is where I want to Lask. For Milan, the away jersey is really, really, really nice, but I have a similar one, so I'm not seeing myself getting that one, but I would like to have this wild, pinkish, wild, purplish, green, whatever, you know. That jersey, I would love to have. Um, not necessarily a home jersey or whatever, but you know. I want to actually, for Milan and both, uh, I, and both Lask, I want to, if the opportunity arises and I have the funds, I'd like to patch up a little bit uh, a few interesting shirts from the past because those are my two fav favorite teams and it's nice to have a good collection of these. Not necessarily going now for the real expensive ones. Don't necessarily need that. Um, but let's run through the eight leagues that I'm covering. Then also talk quickly about European competitions. Uh, again, similar car color scheme. Green is what I have. Yellow is what, if I get the chance, I would like to add. And red is something that I'm actively looking for. And if it's look now, Austrian Bundesliga, I make every week Austrian Bundesliga videos. I think an Austria Wien away jersey. For a decent price, I really would like to have a meaning a white one. Uh, Klangfurt. I really would like to have that one from last season and for Hartberg, just one with all the sponsors. I would like to add more Austrian teams. I think this is where I definitely want to put a little bit more focus. I am from Austria. Yes, they're all rivals and most of them I really don't like all that much. But um, for my Austrian Bundesliga videos, I would love to have that. So every team could actually, I mean, I could add Altach Lustenau as well. Um, probably I should have put them on this graph as well. Uh, for Rapid, I think a white one probably at one point. And for Salzburg, I think a red one could be interesting too. But again, must not be. And yes, I have said if there's a chance to get a blau weiss jersey for relatively cheap, yes, they're the ultimate rival and I'm a Lask fan. But for my videos, and I think they have a really nice home jersey, it would be nice to have. Italy. Similarly happy. I mean, any Italian team that I don't have, I would like to add. Um, but let's say the must adds. I mean, number one for me is a white, potentially yellow, but more white Inter jersey that has a little bit the colors of Inter on there. This is for me one that I'm actively look, looking now. And believe it or not, in Austria, while Milan jerseys I can get relatively cheap, Inter jerseys not. Yeah, because Inter used to have German players, so that's why. Uh, Juventus, um, a yellow or a pink one. 
Well, maybe a white one, that would be interesting. But, you know, more yellow or pink. I uh, would like to add in the Torino away jersey is long overdue. Um, of the teams that I want to add, uh, for some reason, I want to have Monza. No, there's not no, for some reason, because they're bright red. And that would be a different color on my background. But, you know, Genoa is also kind of a gap in my collection. So, there you go. But um, I think the Serie A collection is very, very healthy. Uh, same thing goes for the Premier League co uh, co collection. Where I think the only real spot is potentially an um, Aston Villa alternate color that I think takes prayer present over a greenish Liverpool jersey or yellowish uh, and a white Manchester City jersey. But other than that, I think I'm fine. I added Brentford I would like, like just because I like the team and how they're do, doing business, but not high priority. Uh, Spain is a different story. There's one big, the two red dots there. Girona already working with that one. I need a Girona shirt. Never thought I would say that. Uh, that I'm healthy. Atl and Atletico Madrid, unfortunately, the one away jersey I have is a fake, so I don't want to actually use it that much. And I have only two home jerseys. I should get at least a blue Atletico Madrid away jersey or third jersey. That is, and if I could get a, a real one from the one that won the title in, in 2014, that would be probably the ideal. But yes, this is probably the, uh, one of the biggest collection gaps that I intend to fill, the Girona and Atletico Madrid. And then the others, uh, if I get the chance and find something cheap, would like to have one of the Rayo shirts home jersey with the arrow pattern across, but it's almost impossible. But then I have a brother living in Spain at the moment. That might help. Uh, going over to Bundesliga, very healthy. Though with uh, Leverkusen doing so well, a second one would be nice. I have a red one. So either black or white, I should add. Other than that, all potential ones that I could add. But I like my Bundesliga collection. And yes, it could be a little bit more varied. But overall, I think I'm quite happy the way it is. Same thing goes for the League 1 collection, where I think Nice home jersey, yes. Uh, give them the... They probably will play in Europe now, next year. That would, would, would be nice. But everything else, yes, Montpellier, I would like to have Lorient, I would like to have Stabrest, I would like to have... Needs to be at the right price. So let's go. But Liga looks healthy. Same thing, Eredivisie, not that many. Um, it's more, I, like, I would like to have a greenish Feyenoord jersey. And then of the other teams, you know, if I get the alternates, because there's so many red and white teams, so uh, to mix it up a little bit. That's why I put the other teams in. But overall, happy with uh, the Eredivisie. I'm not doing that many Eredivisie videos anymore. So um, there you go. And same thing can be said for Portugal, where I have even less. However, this is right up there with Spain, the Spanish and the Portuguese gaps the, and, the, and the Inter gap. I would like to have alternates for Benfica and Porto. I actually would like to have also alternates for the home jerseys because I don't like, really like my Porto home jersey. I might be able to sell it if I get a nicer one. And the Benfica one, I have a very old one. I think I would like to have a modern one as well. So Benfica, Porto, that would be nice. For Benfica, I never know. Should I get a white one? Should I get a black one? Let's see. Uh, with the generation, Boavista would be two teams that if I had the chance, I could imagine adding not high priority. So those are the leagues. Now, if I look into European comp competition, I always have to look at the conference league because there I have the least teams. Um, I am currently thinking um, Fenerbahce and this actually means that I am um, wondering whether I shouldn't open a Turkish wing to the collection. Gala, Fener, Abejiktas and Trabzonspor would be four teams that I think shouldn't be too hard to get around here given the Turkish diaspora and would actually add some value to, to, to the collection. Um, I'm a little bit reticent, we say, because of the three big Istanbul clubs. I probably like Fener the least, although, you know, it's not a big deal. Uh, so I would like to have, you know, either Gala or Bejiktas um, first. But let's see where this will go. Um, I also, you know, I have an Anderlecht shirt, maybe adding Union saint Gilloise, uh because we just played against them. Uh, or um, also Club Bruges would be interesting in a way. Uh, not that easy, honestly. Um, Czech, Victoria Pilsen, since I have a Czech collection, you know, a little bit more there. Uh, the Scottish co 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 collection, maybe alternates for Celtic and Rangers, could be interesting. Uh, you know, and maybe get some other Scottish teams, but they're not doing that well in Europe. Uh, same thing goes for the Greek collection. Pauk is doing well. I think maybe I'm ready to get an Ajax shirt as well. 
Uh, um, what else do we have? I think that about covers it. I saw recently a Legia shirt that would be really fun to add. I just don't like the colors all that much, but it would be cheap. They're still in the conference league. Other than that, for all the others, I'm fine. No, I'm not going to go a Copenhagen shirt. I'm thinking of asking. I know uh, a colleague of work has a Copenhagen shirt if he would borrow it me for the two matches against City so that I have it in my background. So this is my wish list if you like. Um, but we have to also talk the reality. The reality is that I probably cannot afford buying that many jerseys anymore. And as I said, I want to reduce my acquisitions at the very most. I really want to set my limit no more than 50 jerseys this year. And even that seems to be high. I would love to have one unpacking every week or every two weeks that you have, because I, as I said, I'm running out of space, but there's also the other reality. Uh, we have a cost of living crisis. Everything gets more expensive, so I have to cut back um, all from that point alone. I'm very fortunate that my rent here didn't increase, but you know, it might be that we need to move, so this would be expenses. I would love to travel more. I have young children that now can really appreciate the world and together with my wife to make a little bit more family vacation that is all uh, a little bit more expensive at the very moment as i said bills are racking up and the cost especially now that the older one went to the next level of school is also racking up so the reality is uh while during corona times and before this crisis hit i actually had the funds uh very very much to really grow my col collection exponentially to the point where i'm saying i have a really good collection there are only a few small holes need to be filled. So uh, from that moment, from that point on, I would like to reduce. The other thing is, you know, um, getting it funds, maybe look at some shirts. I don't like to sell my shirts and I've barely ever sold shirts. I've sold a few this year, but usually the prices I sell for, uh, that doesn't really fund the collection. And at the moment, it's really, really tough with the cost of living price to sell the jerseys for a fair value. I have an Ajax shirt from the 90s up for sale that I think is worth it's good price at the 60 or 70 that I'm listing it uh, and I get offers for 30 or 30 and I'm not gonna do that so just giving you but maybe if I have something I want could fund a little bit but I don't see that happening much I see more the chance in maybe flipping some jerseys you know buy them cheap and then sell them for slightly more and maybe generate funds this way. However, it's very time consuming and I'm very, um, very um, aware that I don't want to spend all this time for that. I want to spend time that gives me joy. And if this becomes too much, I don't want to deal with that, to be honest. So this is the reality. So I have a goal, less than 50, 50 jerseys at the very maximum. Fill in the gaps, especially for, 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 for the Euros, the Lask and the Milan jerseys, and maybe a little bit uh, look at some club jerseys that I have mentioned and then see where this takes me. But, you know, this is where I'm at at the moment. Things may change, and that's also the beauty of it. So, in any case, this was a rather long video, but I want to give you a piece of my mind collecting. I hope this was insightful to you as well. Um, let me know where you think you will take your collection at the moment. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon more about things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!